This conference will now be recorded. Yeah. Okay, so uh, we'll be starting our next topic that is <clears throat> automatic batch valuation with QM. Okay, so the topics that we are going to cover they are we will see what is automatic batch valuation with QM introduction or you. Automatic batch evaluation with QM process flow, how the process flow happens. Then settings for settings for automatic batch evaluation with QM. Okay, what are the settings we need to do in the system for automatic batch evaluation with quality? Okay, so these are the topics we'll be covering in this session. Okay. Uh, in the automatic batch evaluation with QM, you will be linking the link between master inspection characteristics and class characteristics allows you to transfer the results of quality inspection to the batch classification okay so that the system can access them in the batch determination so basically what happens is in the logistics modules like mm okay pp pp sd okay in these modules they use batch classification okay in the batch classification they will be using the class characteristics okay in our qm we will be using mics mics so when we enter the results for the mic mic in the in the inspection lot that result will go and get updated in the batch classification for the same batch okay this can only takes place if the material is to be handled in batches and if a batch class was assigned to the material master in the classification view. So this I will show it in the system. You must set the indicator batch valuation without material specification in the plant dependent settings in the customizing. This configuration also I will show you. Okay. The link between master inspection characteristics and class characteristics enables automatic transfer of inspection results to the batch classification. Okay, so basically what we will be doing here is you have a batch managed material. Okay, you have a batch managed material and what happens is it will have an inspection uh, material specification. It will have your MICs. MICs. Okay, so now same material will have a batch class. In the batch class, it will have the classification characteristics class characteristics okay so it will have a batch class the batch class will have characteristics at the same time in the inspection plan in the qm you have mics master inspection characteristics so you will link these two you will link these two okay so when you link these two when the inspection lot is created when you enter the results when you do the usage decision the the value entered in the mic will automatically get transferred to its corresponding class characteristic as the batch is same in the in the inspection lot you will have a batch okay so this batch class characteristics will get updated okay so that's what we will be doing okay so this is the one you have the classification system in the logistics module you have a class and that class will have characteristics and in our QM, we will be having the MICs. Then they will link this to. They will link this to. That's what they will be doing. That's what they will be doing. Okay. So now we will see this in the system. So first, what I will do, I'll create some data. Okay. Uh, let me log into the system. Okay, uh, so what I will do, I'll create uh, two uh, MICs first. Okay, I'll create in the QM MICs. MICs I will create. Okay, QS21. This we already discussed many times. Okay, I will use plant 1710. 
I will create a C. A C underscore, I will give it as 55. Okay, this is the one. I'll just create a fra freshly new one. Quantitative. This already we discussed many times. Released complete copy model. I'll put it as a C. Potency. A C is nothing but potency. Okay, go to control indicators. Lower limit, upper limit, check target value, sampling procedure. This already we discussed. Continue. Continue. Okay. Measurement unit. I'll put it as percentage. Target value 100. Lower limit 90. Upper limit 100. This is the one I'm creating. Continue. Okay. So let me save this. This is the first QMMIC. Okay. I'm saving this. I will create one more pH. pH, this already we discussed many times. Okay, this just I will create one, one more pH. I'm creating two QMMICs. Okay, enter quantitative released complete copy model pH, pH control indicators. Continue, continue, continue. pH will not have any measurement unit. Target value I'll put it as 7. Lower limit 0, upper limit uh, 40. Okay, continue. Then everything maintained, save it. So now I created the QM MICs, two MICs. Now in the batch classification, there will be a batch classification. Okay. Here I will create the class characteristic. In our QM, we use MICs. In the batch classification, they will use class characteristics. You might have worked in QM, uh, PP, characteristics. Okay, uh, so now I will create two. So the T code is CT04. CT04, batch characteristic. So here I'll put Z underscore AC. Okay, underscore 55, just to have the reference, I'll create this. This is a characteristic I'm creating. These are called class characteristics. Okay, batch characteristics. Click on this button, create. Give the name, a C. Okay, data type, numeric format. Give numeric format, number of characters, three. Unit of measure, percentage. Enter, go to values. The value will be 90 to 110. This is the limit. Okay. Unit of measure is percentage, and these are the lower limit, upper limit. We are maintaining same like MIC. Okay. And now save this. So I created this class characteristic. This is our next. I will create one more pH. Okay. Z underscore ph underscore 55 again click on create this class characteristic creation will be done by uh, logistics team either mm team or pp team or sd team they will create based on their need okay so i'll enter the ph ph data type numeric format number of characters two there is no unit of measure go to values pH value is 0 to 14. Lower limit is 0, upper limit is 14. Save it. So we created these two. Okay. Now what you need to do is you have to link this. You have to do this linking. Okay. So we have to link QM MICs, MICs of QM module. MICs of QM module has to be linked with your class batch characteristic nothing but class characteristic batch care of the batch classification this linking you need to do okay now we have to link this linking you need to do so what i have to do take this one
so i am now linking so this is a mic's now this mic you need to link with the patch characteristic so here this is a its corresponding batch characteristic is this one and for this one this is the one. so now we have to do this linking okay now let's do the linking so how to do the linking is you have to go to your mic mic in the change mode us 23 change master inspection characteristic go here first enter your qm mic qm mic here enter your qmmic enter here you see there is a field class characteristic 